what is Revit. In this video, we'll be speaking about what Revit exactly is and what makes it different from traditional CAD workflow. As you know, you might have heard a lot of times BIM and Revit, Revit is BIM, and Revit is not BIM, and so forth in the industry. And this video will cover all these things. Traditionally, people were drafting on paper. When they're drafting on paper, they, it was very difficult for them, for the industry. So the, when the technology and innovation came into practice, they figured out a CAD workflow is actually much smoother because they started drawing digitally rather than doing it on paper. They had to switch all their workflow from paper to the digital CAD drawings. It was easy for the industry because the actual supply chain, actual change wasn't really in the workflow. It was in the deliverables of the data, deliverables of drawings. So instead of drawing in 2D and on paper, they were drawing on 2D on the digital platform. But when it comes to BAM nowadays, there is a huge switch between the workflow. It's not about only using a software that will allow you to convert things into 3D, but instead it's actually a mindset, it's communication and collaboration, which is very difficult since our industry is very traditionalized. A traditionalized industry has a little bit problem with moving out of outside the comfort zone. They see it as a risk, they see it as effort, they see it as a cost, so they don't really want to invest in innovation and development. They just want to stay within their comfort zone and they want to eliminate all the extra work. That's why BIM became a buzzword in the industry because people don't understand it since there's a huge change from the traditional workflow. When we talk about the Revit, Revit is just one part of the BIM and that's the design part. You are using Revit as a software that enables you to design and collaborate between your stakeholders. But that is only a particular side of the BIM. So which BIM is a much, much um, bigger cloud, which you can see over here. There are tons of tons of software uh, products and technologies and workflow and standards for BIM. So we are actually not limited to Revit, but the most popular software in the industry is Revit. That's why today we are speaking about that. When we compare Revit to the traditional CAD, for example, a Rhino, a, an AutoCAD, the difference is huge because in Rhino, and AutoCAD, you are generally working with layers and you are working in 2D. Yes, you can work in 3D as well, but the idea of working in 3D and 2D is the same in AutoCAD, meaning you are generally doing layer work. So if you do a wall, you just call that layer as a wall, but you could actually call it as a window. You could call it as a column. You could call it as a door. You could, you could call it anything. So basically it's about what you really call that layer. It becomes a representative of the data. With BAM, it is just a little bit different. The actual component, actual construction is a data. So when, when there's a door, it's a door. And every software that is BAM enabled, like IFC uh, enabled, they actually accept all these data as doors. So when you put it in a, inside a Revit a door, when you put it into another BIM software or in a cloud, it, every platform will understand it's a door. It's not a window, it's not a wall, it's a door category. In Revit, when you do a 3D model, you are actually at the same time working with the 2D views. So you are doing your 2D documentation together with your 3D BIM model. And this means that you save tons of tons of time. You understand a lot of errors, a lot of design mistakes, a lot of issues, and then you realize them and you cover them. But you are not necessarily have to use Revit. You can use Archicad, you can use Tecla, you can use Open, you can have SketchUp, BIM, and there are lots of lots of other software, like including Bentley, depending on the complicated um, or the purpose you are looking for. In Revit, there's another layer to that as well. When you build your 3D model, since the software is intelligent enough and it understands all the components, all the categories, all the walls and floors, now you can actually extract schedules out of it right away. You can extract all the bill of quantities directly into one schedule. You can filter them out. You can sort the groups. You can put formulas in, and you can do many, many things right inside of Revit. Obviously, if you are really doing an appropriate BOQ, Revit will not be enough because you will need uh, uh, the area of the formwork and other stuff which you are not including inside the design model. So therefore, you need another software 
uh, like ServiceWorks, which enables you to do cost management and cost calculations for PIM. There's another level of Revit as well, which is the collaboration. Revit allows multiple stakeholders to go right inside the Revit model and actually work together. That sounds a little bit strange to the traditional workflow. I know you are using external references, extracts, and AutoCAD, and you're like saying, oh my God, how multiple people can work at the same time? They're a good mess. I will be dragging one layer there. I will be changing a layer, adding something. I will be drawing a line there, and someone else is going to delete my line and move. It's not actual in this way. It's a little bit different. You have work sets, you have rules, you have ownerships, you are, you are borrowing items. So it's a little bit more advanced, obviously, to serve the right purpose. If you, want, if you would like to watch a video on this, please comment below. I will be more than happy to create a video for you so you can understand exactly how to work in this platform. In conclusion, Revit enables us to create a 3D digital data and 3D digital model which can be collaborated between the stakeholders to ensure the collaboration and communication is efficient throughout the project lifecycle. Revit is a BIM-enabled tool for design process and it's a design modeling tool. So we should not really compare Revit is equal to BIM. BIM is much, much a bigger call. It's information management and information sharing. If you'd like to learn more about what BIM exactly is, Let's click on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we are going to post one video for you. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. See you next time.